Fallout 1, baby. This game rocks my balls. A lot of people don't talk about the early Fallout games. Yeah, they may not have the graphics of the newer ones, but I'm telling you, dude, these games are sick. The first Fallout was always kind of mysterious to me. My first game in the series was actually New Vegas. <laughs> However, something about this game manages to feel familiar, yet different, in a way I can't really explain. Fallout 1 was developed by Black Isle Studios, known for classics like Fallout, Fallout 2, and, uh, some other games, I think? Yeah, they're the Fallout guys. A lot of these dudes would go on to form Obsidian Entertainment and work on this marvelous beauty of a game. So you start the game as a vault dweller, and... Ha! Ah, you're here. Shh. Be quiet, old man. So this dude is Jackrin. He's the overseer of your vault, Vault 13. I'm sure you guys already know about the Fallout universe, but in case you don't, here's a quick summary. Anyways, the Wada chip has eaten the dirt, and the old man here wants you to find him a new one. Without it, the vault will run out of water. Something that always perplexed me about this is that they never do explain why you are the chosen one in this game. Okay, so in the beginning, Jackrin says, You're the only hope we have. Wait a minute! Anywho, you make it out, fuck up some rats, and eventually run into Shady Sands. You learn pretty quickly that peeps here don't like you waving around your shooty shooty sticks. Most characters in this game won't talk to you if you got a weapon in your hand. As for Shady Sands, it's basically a big old farm. Not a lot to note here, this place doesn't really become important later or anything, so... Vault 15 is located just east of Shady Sands. You blast a couple more rodents and find nothing here. No chips, no nothing. So you know you gotta look elsewhere. As you start heading down the old desert, you run into a little base run by cans. None of these dudes wanted to dap me up, so I just started blasting. Also, I decided to use this bookshelf as storage for the rest of the game. No, I'm actually serious, I put guns and grenades in here the whole time. You keep heading down south and eventually find the hub. Aw, yeah. We got guns, drugs, a full bar, and books. You'll find a lot of different quests and characters around these parts, but you know you have a mission to get that chip. It's just that I couldn't really figure out where I should be going. Maybe, uh... Necropolis. Necropolis is Ghoul City. No, I'm serious. It's actually a city filled with ghouls. Like, they even have a ghoul mayor. He tells you that there is a water chip here, but the ghouls need it. In order for both of you to benefit, he wants you to fix up that old watershed that's guarded by some mutants. In your travels, you end up finding the sewers, which actually has more ghouls in it. Also, the water chip's down here. At this point, you could make your way to the watershed, kill the mutants, and ensure the ghouls' survival. But their leader called me a normie, so get fucked. A couple dead guys later, you get the chip and return it to Jackarin. Yeah, we got drinking water, baby! However, Jackrin thinks the super mutants are sussy and need to be dealt with. So I should probably talk about that, the super mutants. These dudes don't fuck around. I mean it. I decided to take a little trip northwest and I ran into a group of them. I immediately got ass blasted at Kingdom Fuck and decided if I want to mess with these guys, I'm gonna need some better gear. Then I knew it was time. It's time to meet the Brotherhood. So I found these two dudes earlier in the game standing outside of a bunker. I knew from a mile away they were Brotherhood. However, this dude right here, Tabit, he's an asshole. He tells you in order to join the Brotherhood, you gotta go down to a place called The Glow. Some Brotherhood chump died with an important mixtape or something, I don't know. So The Glow is in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, far away from the rest of the map. There's fire all around it, tons of radiation, and 12,000 signs telling you, TURN THE FUCK AROUND! But finally, you make it there. Once there, you find this big ass hole. So you get down here and- <laughs> oh god, <laughs> what, what the fuck? So there's a lot of radiation down there. My meds aren't doing shit. This place is fucked. Before I left, I noticed there was another elevator that I missed, and apparently there's more floors to this building. To use these elevators, you need a special key card you can find lying around. However, all you find down here are a couple of rataways, and that's about it. I couldn't find the other key cards, so adios. There's another area near the glow called the Cathedral. Alright, let's talk about this group. So there's this wacko religion called the Children of the Cathedral. All you really know is that they're everywhere in the game, they wear these weird robes, and they worship someone called the Master. I actually thought that was this dude right here when I first started playing. So everyone in here is a dick, and doesn't really want anything to do with you. You keep moseying around and eventually find this locked door. I could go around and find a key, but it seems like nobody cares if I just pick lock this in broad daylight. Heading upstairs you find- HOLY FUCK! Nightkin. Imagine if a super mutant took a shit ton of Ritalin and can turn invisible at will. What are they doing here? So you manage to sneak around and score a stealth boy. 
but something just ain't right here. Hold on a minute. There's more stairs. Ooh, what's in here? All right, nope, 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 adios. So you finally return to the Brotherhood with the tape. Hey. Once you get in, you see the glorious Brotherhood base. On the first floor, there's Talus, a paladin and second in command. Then there's Rhombus, right. the head paladin Explain and knight. Yourself. He's uh, pretty serious about his job. Finally, there's Trapezium. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. Level 2 is boring, and level 3 has the super creepy lady who keeps asking you to check out the new laser pistol I designed. In another room, you find a few dudes working on gear and a laser pistol. There's some broken power armor on the table, and this guy tells you it's yours if you can repair it. You just need a key part for it and a MacGyver level repair skill. For the part, you could pester Michael, or you can just steal it. Ah, uh, yeah! On the fourth floor, you'll find Elder John Maxim, a cranky old man who's got work to do. One thing you can do here is start your next quest for the Brotherhood. They want you to find and rescue an initiate who's lost somewhere in the hub. Ho oh, man! So you search the hub quite a bit and eventually find Harold. Anywho, you spot him some Robux and he tells you that he heard a Brotherhood initiate is being held hostage in Old Town by Decker's men. Who the fuck is Decker? I don't know! You ask Harold about this and all he knows is that he's a bad dude. In fact, it seems like quite a few people around here hate this guy. So after searching for hours, I finally figured out you have to talk to this dude behind the bar at the Maltese Falcon. After this, he brings you downstairs to talk to Decker, who sounds like the coldest motherfucker in the neighborhood. So he asks you to do some sketchy shit. All I want to know is where he's holding the fucking initiative! But this sequence is locked to his dialogue, and once he finishes talking, you just get yoinked back up to the bar. So you go down there and fucking blast him. Wait. What? Everyone's, like, so happy he's dead. Okay... So now that you've killed Decker, you just gotta search around and find the Initiate, right? 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 So there's nothing down here. Everyone's gone and there's zero loot. What kind of secret hideout is this? Hey, wait a minute. Harold said Somebody Old Town. So you head back there and spend hours trying to find this stupid Initiate. I asked every single goddamn person in Old Town and find nothing. You think, this is it. I'm stuck here forever. It's over. Then you see it. This tiny building in the corner. This is the building. This is the building. You kill the dudes, including this asshole, and make sure the initiate is Gucci. After this, you return to the Brotherhood, get a nice pat on the back, and speak with the elders. We agree that there's a threat amok, and they tell me they will send some paladins with me to go check out this military base. So, in the top left corner of the map, there's a military base. But getting there is a pain in the ass. Anytime you get even remotely close to this spot, you'll have an encounter with a bunch of mutants. When you get to the base, they've got friends waiting for you. Thankfully, I've got the Brotherhood on my side, baby! Woo! Yeah! Uh... Guys? Guys? Well, this sucks. So, uh... This place is an absolute maze. There are these force fields everywhere, the yellow ones are unenterable, and the red ones give you a little sting. Just a little nip. You kill a few dudes and make your way to the third floor. Here, you find a big super mutant named Flip, watching some cells, and just blast him. Anyway, you piece out of here and come across a cursed yellow door. So you head the other direction. A few landmines later, you find out the other elevator doesn't work, so this must be your only way down. I struggled for a good hour until I finally figured it out. You can actually disable these yellow force fields by using, wait for it, the repair skill. So you get to the bottom floor and whoa, I am not fighting all those dudes. However, I do know the lieutenant of the master's army is over there and he might have some good loot. So you head over there and find him with his cronies, including this dude right here. This fucking dude with the goddamn rocket launcher. I swear to God, I've never wanted to obliterate someone in this game so badly. I must have reloaded my save and tried to kill this guy at least 15 times. Anyways, you kill these guys and the lieutenant. After this, you head back up to the computer room and find a bunch of technicians who are strangely pacifistic. I thought this was a trap or something, but nope, they just don't fight you. However, if you go and actually talk to one of them, they all just kind of, uh... So you hack into the computers and set the base to self-destruct. On your way out, you find this locker room, and holy fuck! So you shimmy the hell out of here, and BOOM! <laughs> so after this, returning to the Brotherhood only gets you a nice job from the Elder. 
You know what? Fuck you, Brotherhood. You weren't much of a help to me anyways. Then you head back to the cathedral. So this is it. The last place you know you need to go. The Master's Quarters. Or at least, that's what I spent six hours trying to find in this goddamn vo- So you kill these dudes and make your way into the elevator. The second floor doesn't have much, but the third floor is where it gets interesting. You see an elevator over there. You don't see anywhere else to go. That's gotta take you down to the master's quarters, right? I tried everything. Sneaking over there was a bitch, but even then the door into the elevator is locked. Okay, pick that door. Now the elevator door is locked. Are you fucking kidding me? Nothing works. Using lockpicking skill, electronic lockpick, every card or key I have, nothing. Well, I guess this is it. The master's just gonna have to fuck up the wasteland. Wait. Oh, you have to be fucking with me. So this is it, huh? This is the master. You already take a shit ton of damage by literally just walking towards him. Turns out this hallway also made you a dumb shit and he just halfened my intelligence? What? So you pop some mollies and push forward. This fight consists of die, die, and die. The master does not fuck around. So this fight ain't easy. If you want to win, you gotta be more drugged up than the nightkin. I'm talking such a crazy concoction of drugs, you're gonna make the FEV look like a juicy drop pop. So after endless dying, dying, and dying, I finally figured out how to kill this guy. It's not the minigun, not the combat shotgun, not even the armor-piercing missile launcher. It's the flamer. The big old fireball launcher. So I went in and just kept firing at the master, not even looking at the super mutants. After cooking up some FEV barbecue for a solid 30 minutes, he finally finally bit the dust, or moreover, became dust. Rather, bioorganic slime particle- Okay, he fucking died, all right? Woo-wee! It's over. Okay, so the last thing to do is to dip the hell out of here, as the whole cathedral's gonna blow. Once you escape, you get a long cutscene showing how many people you fucked over. Then, we return to the vault. Now, this dickwad, this asshole right here, after all of the work you've done for the vault, tells you to leave. No cap. After getting him that water chip and literally single-handedly stopping an entire army of motherfucking super mutants, shuns you from entering your own vault. He kicks you out all because he's scared the other vault dwellers will want to be a giga chad like you and leave the vault. Anywho, so you walk out with your head down. Wait a minute. 